good evening, welcome to Dave's Tackle Box. It's the 14th of October, 2012, which is the day after the 13th of October, which was the date for the North East E-Smokers Kneesel. And uh, we've got a little bit of footage and a few talking points to cover. <laughs> You're gonna enjoy this. Uh, for those that were there, you know what's coming. For those that weren't there, maybe you don't know yet. You will soon enough. And I'm going to be joined by Dougie, because uh, he was there too. And uh, and we're going to chat about a few of the little finer details of how the day went. <laughs> you, you'll see, you'll see. Um, also tonight, uh, on my way to the knees up, I called in at a petrol station and picked up a, a little disposable e -cig here. And so uh, Dougie and I are going to be swapping some notes on those kind of things towards the end of the show. Um, but before we do anything else tonight, uh, I've got a little VT here, uh, which some people may find slightly amusing. If I saw you yesterday, you'll have noticed I was using this NGP thing. It's an NGP touch fire. And Dave Dawn actually covered this on his show on Thursday night. And uh, it's quite amusing because at about the time that was going out live on uh, Thursday, I was traveling back from Germany where this was waiting for me. And I was sitting in the taxi, coming up the M42 on the way back from the airport, and I thought, I can't wait to get back and pick up my NGP. And I did. And I took it to bed, and uh, as I was falling asleep, I had the NGP in my hand. Does it sound a little bit familiar? I had a little mishap, ooh, a few weeks ago now, uh, by falling asleep whilst using the NGP in bed. Um, but. I don't want to preempt too much, so let's have a look at the VT. Let's get this show on the road. Enjoy this. Well, it's Friday morning, and I have a little story that you may find vaguely amusing. Um, I mentioned in my show last week that for the last, well now, two and a half weeks, I've been using these little ellipse things with a very strong juice uh, while I've been travelling and away from home, and uh, it served me very well. But what I didn't mention last week is at the weekend, I've been using this thing a lot. Now this is an NGP Genesis Hybrid mod, and I love it. It's the touch sensitive one. And, um, well, I like it a lot. And what I've been doing with this is using a lower strength juice and just basically enjoying vaping, you know? So I vape this like most people do, continually. But last night, and this isn't the first time I've done this, I fell asleep in bed with this mod. The first time I did it, I melted the drip tip. Because <laughs> it's touch sensitive, see? And I must have had it in my hand or it fell on my chest or whatever, because I had a slight burning here and um, and the drip tip melted. And then I found that it, most of my drip tips didn't fit and I had to whittle one down. Well, last night, it actually was a bit worse. Um, basically the whole there's a reason the top cap isn't on here at the moment <laughs> uh, it needs some um, fixing because uh, I've got some bits um, so I figured okay I've no idea what I'm doing here hopefully I haven't damaged it beyond repair that would be scary but let's see if we can get this baby working again Okay, so I awoke this morning to find uh, lying next to me on top of the quilt um, this, which is a melted drip tip, uh, some melted plastic, which is from the drip tip, and you can see the top cap there has been 
pressed in and I think what's happened is I've somehow managed to press the whole mouthpiece drip tip top assembly down somehow which has forced it onto the wick uh, and it must have been firing for quite a while I guess uh, and that has melted everything <laughs> so uh, it's not looking particularly great now I can push this Delrin top piece out of the top cap I think um, and I can see already that there's some damage done so I'm really hoping I'm going to be able to uh, re redeem and retrieve this so there's the top piece which is normally pushed into the top of this this cap which is rounded to retain it I can see the o-ring which was part of the drip tip is still stuck inside there so let's get that out so hopefully it'll come out yeah the o-ring is okay it's a bit sort of melted but seems okay the top of the cap looks fine and the hole for the drip tip looks reasonable ah but the underside is melted quite badly uh, but i think i've been a bit lucky here that looks to me like it will still function otherwise I'm going to have to get really creative I think I might be lucky I think I might just be able to push in a new drip tip which I'll do while this is out of place I think uh, so I need a drip tip Let's see if we can find a candidate now because of the way this thing's built if I just pop the top cap back on um the wick it, unless you cut it really short i've trimmed the wick from what was on it uh to be sort of flush with the uh the terminal screw here um but it, even so it remains once everything's assembled it remains pretty close to the bottom of the drip tip um now that's obviously caused me an issue because it's melted the plastic drip tip however if i put a metal one on i might have bigger problems like shorts and things like that if the wick with the wire wrapped around it obviously with the coil wrapped around it touches a metal drip tip that could be worse so i think i'm going to try and find another plastic drip tip okay so after a good search through my drip tips i've decided to do what i did last time when i melted one uh, and use the tip off a vv nova tank <laughs> i don't use that tank so uh um as i say i don't want to use a metal one because of the risk of shorts given how close this is generally to the wick there um now what i recall from i've got two basic problems that i need to uh, overcome the first one is that the hole in the top of this thing even before it was melted does not accept a standard size 510 drip tip i need to modify this drip tip to fit the second problem i've got is that the thing this this sort of top piece is now loose in the top so I'm going to need to fix that into the top of the cap somehow and I don't have a wide variety of options open to me so I'm going to try super glue I have no idea if it's going to work but one problem at a time let's get the drip tip into here one good thing about the design of this is once this is in place you shouldn't actually need to remove it again so if I can get it in there then that's good enough and then if I can glue that into the top so it's airtight and works then that's also good enough so what I did last time to make these things fit is just simply shave a little bit off the bottom of the drip tip like this and I'm hoping it's going to work for me again so uh, for those people who are interested in health and safety pushing the knife away from my body it's a plenty sharp knife and it is cutting through the plastic there 
and hopefully I can just narrow that bottom section of the drip tip enough so I can force it into the Delrin top piece of the mod. I'll tidy it up a little bit with a file in a second. Let's see how close we are at the moment. Yeah, that looks like it'll force in now. So I'll just tidy that up a little bit with this file. It doesn't have to be particularly pretty, it's going to be hidden. And if I do it right, it's not going to be subjected to any heat. <laughs> just going to gently test to see if that's in far enough I think I'll probably be able to tap that at home now with a hammer um, the other thing I'm going to do is just where the bottom of this is deformed and de misshaped now because of the melted plastic I'm just going to again not too bothered but just try and make it the right shape again really it's not going to look too pretty that's never going to be the case anymore hopefully I can force this drip tip in there now like I say I might need to persuade it a little with a hammer or similar because uh, I'm about to tap this with a hammer I'm just going to stick a, a condom off of a cartomizer that I had lying around just to try and offer it a bit of protection so uh, that's the drip tip forced into the piece um, if I can get this condom off there we go it's not the prettiest job in the world but it's good the o-ring is seated into place properly so it should, uh, it should be airtight now my challenge is to make the join between this plastic piece and the top section of the mod here airtight also and as you can see, I mean, it, it moves, it, it no longer holds itself in place. So I'm, I'm hoping that super glue will do the job. It's all I have for, for the moment. So that's what I'm going to try. So uh, I don't even know how you apply this stuff. Uh, it would be, I was hoping it'd be a brush. But let's uh, dab a bit of super glue around the edge. Of the mud trying not to get it onto the plastic drip tip because that ain't gonna end well and then just push it into place wipe off the excess I so say at this stage I'm just hoping I can get it working again what it looks like is definitely a secondary issue <laughs> That seems to be reasonably level. Um, been a bit messy with the glue, but maybe I can pick some of that off later. It certainly looks as though it's a good enough seal to be viable. Yeah, not the prettiest. I managed to get some on uh, on here as well, but that'll come off. Not too concerned about that. But let's give that a, a minute or two to dry and go off properly, and we'll see if it works. 
Okay, this has had a few minutes to dry. Uh, I've scraped off most of the super glue I managed to get on the outside of the cap there. It's a bit messy around the top, but it's not terrible. You know, it's not terrible. Uh, but the main thing is that it is airtight, which I can test by covering up the air hole on the side. It's airtight, it'll work. Uh, I'm, how sturdy it is remains to be seen. Now, whilst uh, I was off camera there, I noticed something else uh, which I need to deal with. Uh, whilst everything is still working, as you can see, there's a distinct smell of burning plastic. So I've burned, I guess this is where there's been burning plastic on the end of the wick. So I'm just going to do, I'll, I'll, I'll make a new wick for it when I get time later, but for the moment I'm just going to snip the top off the, the wick there push that back down a bit um, I think there was still some plastic on the top so I'll just check that's still working not really got any hot spots it looks okay yeah it smells a bit better uh, so let's see if I've managed to save my NGP there's also uh, some plastic in the threads <laughs> um, that used to tighten up a lot easier than you just saw but it does basically go into place um, okay let's see if it works yes it does Well, that concludes this week's task for which I didn't have time. <laughs> but the good news is my NGP works again. And that's good because this, probably more than any mod I've ever had, I have been inseparable from since I got it at Vapefest Island a few weeks ago. Um, I've been using that little ellipse thing on my travels for the last couple of weeks. But when I'm home, this is all I've used. I love it. I need to uh, mess around with the wick after I've just trimmed the top and what have you to, to get it producing vapour like it was, uh, but I'm sure I can do that. The threads are a bit sort of crappy in the inside the top cap now, and I need to be careful because it's aluminium onto plastic, and there's, I need to be careful that I don't do some permanent damage there, but the top's fixed, it's working. Just be very wary if I offer it for sale. <laughs> But it's not very likely. It's working again. I like it. Thanks for watching. And the moral of the story there, of course, is, uh, you know, don't use a touch sensitive mod in bed unless you can trust yourself to put it on the bedside table before you fall asleep but, uh, i've now done it twice it can't possibly happen a third time can it <laughs> oh dear cloud nine vaping sponsors of dave's tackle box
Good evening. It's taken a while to uh, get things lined up and ready to go. But I'm here now, so uh, welcome to Dad's Talk Box. So there we go, I'm back in the room and not long to go now. So yeah, I was uh, I was talking to my son and he's, he's watching me make the things before. At Vietnam's TV Towers, tonight being Wednesday night, it is time for the one and only chat show program called PT Talk. Jeez, the ears are Again, again, Keith was just saying if it wasn't for the titles, he wouldn't come and do the show. He loves them so much, don't he? Okay, so we're into part two of the show. Doesn't it fly by, huh? Yeah, anyway, I thought I'd share that with you, uh, seems as though that took any available time that I had for filming anything, and I needed it fixed. I needed that mod. It's a great mod. Well, it was. <laughs> it has a few little uh, issues now, but I'll iron those out. It'll be fine. Maybe I can melt it back into shape again. I don't know. But anyway, um, yesterday then. Okay, yesterday. Yesterday, I didn't get up particularly early, but I had a long, long drive, nearly 200 miles I drove yesterday, uh, to go to the knees up at the Rattler in South Shields. And, uh, well, I got up there in good time. I dropped my bags off at the hotel, got a cab, got to the Rattler, and we were having a great time. And, uh, well, then the plan changed. Let's say that. Let, let's just say that we had... I think uh, Daz from Safe for Six, who was there, uh, described as like, you know, uh, an unexpected bonus <laughs> during the course of the day. But you'll see that I didn't now I must qualify this right. Uh, the VT that you're about to see. OK, I, I took I actually took two cameras, but I only used one of them and I didn't use it that much. I was too busy having a good time. And uh, and let's face it. I filmed loads of meets recently, and I thought, no, I'm going to kick back. I'm not going to worry too much about filming stuff. And consequently, when a little sort of change of plan was occurring, uh, I wasn't filming anything. But thankfully, Dougie was. So uh, the foot, there's a fair amount of the footage in this little VT you're going to see is Dougie's. I know. I think he's going to do his own. He'll be on in a bit. We'll ask him. Um, but I borrowed a little bit of footage off him just so I can tell the complete story. Um, so. To recap, this is the Knees meetup, the North East e-smokers meetup in South Shields yesterday, 13th of October. Um, I'll show you this and then we'll uh, we'll get dug in and we'll have a chat about it.
I understand, but I, I think his next time is just, you know, if he would do that, 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 that that's what's happening, that's the whole of the about. And, 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 and this table is, you know, due to the fact if somebody put this whole place out, we expect that there's some food sales yeah, taking place. Yeah, well, well, they will die. But I'm afraid at 6 o'clock, if you if you want to order, because 6 o'clock I have a large party coming in, it's 3 hours. For so here? We yeah, were for told, here. Until 6 o'clock the room is yours, but after 6 o'clock I can push it until 6.30 with the condition the smoking is needs to stop. On but we, we, we travel here, we book hotels in, in the area and everything. I, I understand, it's just looking for just people change when they come in through. So, as I said, you know, it's, it's, it's basically, it, this is my business and, and, and no that, 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 that's all I, all, I can, all I can offer you. It's but, like, no, no, we'll take your original offer. Yeah. We didn't turn up here, you know, yeah. this was arranged. Right. You, can't, you can't break the, the arrangement. I mean, to be honest with you, I'm able to create something new for your group it's somewhere else. But, but, but this room is booked from 7.30. So, I can, from 7.30, I cannot give you this room. I have a lot of large parties in. It wasn't for me specified that it's going to be for all night. That was definitely what was really I said, we, we booked this room all day, you know, I mean... I mean, if we know that this is booked for all day, that would be a massive room charge for this one. But we saw this is just a table, you are eating, so... Folks, it's really all, all I can say is like, unfortunately this is the smoking, because if it's one or two, but, but look at what people think, you know, it's just... But we're not smoking, though. We're not I, I know smoking. you're not smoking, but... I'm, even I'm a smoker, but I can't see it. But you know, what's the perception of the people coming to? Even if I close the door, I close the door. To Maybe make you should have thought about this before all these sir, people travelled and spent all sir, this money to be here. I, I, I gave you this room until 6.30, but after 6.30 I need to get this room ready. I don't think door. we'll stay that long if that's the case, frankly. Well, well, in this case, I'm really sorry. I've spent a lot of money to be here today yeah. because we had an arrangement with you and you've right. broken it. So, I can close the door. The room is yours until 6 o'clock. Where do we send I the invoices for the... What invoices? For the money that we've incurred. Well, because I mean, we had to deal with you. Like, it is misleading. So, all I'm saying, I close the door now. It's not misleading, it's bloody straight. Right, okay folks, i tell you what. This is my decision. You can have the room. The smoking needs to be stopped. If you want to smoke, you can smoke outside. It, 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 it doesn't matter. It, it, it's really I can smell it. Nobody smokes. I know. I know what I mean. It's, 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 it's a sort of artificial. I, I, I know what it means. But it's still. It just. It just doesn't look good. It just doesn't look. But good why should we pay up because you screwed up? We were told exactly what it was. I discussed it. The health said she was going to check the tooth maker. She rang me back and said everything was fine. We have a booking here. Yeah, for this specific. I'm afraid it wasn't specified. This is for the whole entire night. It was specified from 3 o'clock until 2 o'clock. Right, okay. Can I get to say, I haven't talked with Michelle about this 3 o'clock till closing time because I'm not sure about that. Why would we travel all that way for a couple of hours? Usually what we do is, no matter what is 3 hours is the time frame, because if it's exceeding more than 3 hours, then what we do is, is go to a special event. It's a special event, it's a completely whole game, it's not, not just a table game. So, as I said, because it's already been arranged, so we need to get this door closed. 6 o'clock, at 6.30 we need to get this room reset, because obviously I have somebody already booked in. I have no written evidence, I have no phone call evidence about anything that has been told that is it's booked for the rest of the night. If it's booked for the rest of the night, it would be a contact event when it's to our This is just a So, I get the door Where else can we get? Please, I'm to travel. Long in Hales. Make sure you've left out. 
开始就开。What do you think of the rattler, mate? If I had a minute, maybe I'd find it. I know the type of circus they are. And I should add uh, some more thanks there as well to Dougie, who uh, filmed at least half of the footage you just saw there, so thank you, mate. In fact, we'll be joined by Dougie uh, very shortly now, actually. Uh, but just before I bring him in, uh, I just want to mention uh, something that we've been sort of uh, building up for the last few weeks, and that is our new show on Tuesday nights, uh, Vapor Scene. Uh, here's a little reminder. reminder there and uh, we can tell you now that the uh, the new show vapor scene is starting this coming tuesday that's the day after tomorrow the 16th of october 2012 uh, i know because uh, i've been uh, sort of not working with really but talking to marco and i know what the sort of stuff he's got lined up uh, he's got some great interviews with a uh, load of guys stateside, some really sort of big names in uh, in the world of uh, e-cigs and reviewing and mod making and um, it's just going to be a great show, it's going to be a great show. There's also a competition but I'll remind you of that in a little while, uh, a weekly competition that you can take part in. Um, there would have been some good contenders for it tomorrow, uh, at the meet yesterday actually if somebody had had a camera. Um, but what I'm going to do, in fact what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just remind you of this because I want to make sure I get this in. Um, this is uh, the uh, uh, it's the show of shores competition i'm sorry i kind of lost my thread a little bit there um have a quick look at this
yeah so that show is yours that send us your photographs and each week we'll pick one and you get a free 30 ml bottle of juice of the strength and flavor of your choice from flavor art uk what could be simpler uh, so you send that to uh, vapor scene at vapor TV. what have you got to lose anyway I can see you can't but on this monitor next to me here I can see this bloke and he's looking like he might have had a big day out yesterday actually so <laughs> you, still feeling it how you doing mate are you uh have you recovered no, I don't think I'm going to be fully recovered till tomorrow. Yeah, that's to age, honest. that is, mate. That's age. <laughs> um, no, it was a good day, but yeah, I'm feeling the effects <laughs> a oh, little bit. You know, that, that's what happens after a good day. <laughs> it does indeed, <laughs> and it definitely was a cracking day. <laughs> well, well done to you anyway for having the presence of mind to flick the camera on when uh, that nice gentleman was explaining how he changed his mind on us. Well, I do have to say thank you for um, to Daz for giving me a nudge. Ah, so he film, takes the credit, film. does he? He takes the credit. Okay, well done, he Daz. Does. Well, the main thing is we got it, and uh, you know that will go nicely on YouTube. And I think um, you know I've I've actually filed my feedback on TripAdvisor, uh, but apparently it can take a few days, and I guess they're probably going to talk to some lawyers and stuff first before they publish it. Uh, but it's a wait, it's a waiting review at the moment. Um, and I'd encourage anybody that was there yesterday who may want to leave uh, feedback for that establishment. In fact, for both establishments. Um, because, I mean, literally there, um, in between uh, the, the us getting our marching orders and, uh, and us sort of shipping out to the guy next, uh, the, the pub next door, um, myself and Sav and a guy called Jason, uh, who was a local lad uh, who'd come along for the day, uh, we literally we walked into the sundial next door and said look this is the situation um, you know uh, can you accommodate us that their function room was full they said we can give you a corner we'll put some tables together give you a little corner yeah we don't mind these things blah 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 and they were just fantastic that they, they were they were as good as the rattler were bad is that fair to say I agree. They were better in 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 all respects. Um, obviously, in the e six side, they were fan, you know, fantastic for they saved the day basically, food wise as well. Saved a fortune ordered, on the beer, and the I beer was actually from, better. I ordered from the Rattler, and it took forty five minutes for a sandwich to arrive. I ordered from the Sundial, and it took five minutes for a full plated meal. I reckon they were probably fetching the sandwich from the Sundial. I think it was on the beach catching the prawns. Still, to be honest, <laughs> when I ordered it, unbelievable. <laughs> I um I couldn't get my head around that guy, uh, and you know my my trip advisor comment says it actually it it wasn't just I kind of understood where that guy was. I had no sympathy for him, you know. It, it was fully clear, but I, I he he was clearly it had a few complaints from people because we could see people glaring at us in the mm -hmm. restaurant, um and so so I know he was in a difficult position, but but it was the attitude with which. That he went around it he wasn't looking you know there was no suggestion that we could work something out um yeah i, I was i was really annoyed and, and when i actually asked him for his name and the name whoever owned the establishment so i could make a, a complaint he refused yeah doesn't surprise. <laughs> he actually I mean, refused he, to tell me uh, who i should contact was, to make he a was complaint. blatantly lying on on that video because he, well, he, he said yeah. the room was booked and then later on he said if we stopped using them we could stay in the exactly. room exactly it was just blatant lies and yeah. um, which just went totally against him um i've got a little bit of um v as you know obviously i was recording a lot of stuff Indeed. and i've uh, got a little bit of footage where i talk about him but it was a quarter past 12 this morning when i was still a little bit drunk so a little bit we can have some fun at that possibly a, a little on bit one drunk. of the next shows <laughs> you were a uh, little bit drunk were you Doug? just a little bit <laughs> uh, i think my last sight of you you were looking for a pirate ship it was there was a pirate ship on the front i know and i'm I sure there was it looked well with my t-shirt yeah but mate. i didn't find it i couldn't find it again it was a little bit was it a small dark, small a pirate ship was it Small pirate ship, maybe I don't know. Um, I need a bunk up to have got on it. Put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll, we'll continue this, but first, let's uh, let's say thanks to our sponsors. Cloud Nine Vaping sponsors of Dave's Tap Box.
the GG. Because you want one. iVeber and iVeber Alexa. Best in Yorkshire for your AC games. That's iVeber.co.uk and iVeber-Alexa.co.uk iVeber and iVeber-Alexa.co.uk Proud sponsors of VeberTrails.tv If you can't watch our shows live, try some of these. Go to YouTube at youtube.com slash user slash TV and you can subscribe there. All of our shows are uploaded as soon as possible after they've gone out live. Enjoy watching it on YouTube, lots of people do. Alternatively, go to Google and type in podcast TV and iTunes. Click on the link and that will take you to a page that shows you the Vapor Trails TV podcast. View it in iTunes, and when you get to iTunes, don't forget to click on subscribe free, and each of the shows will be downloaded to your hard drive as soon as they come out. Or you can use video on demand. Go to www.vaportrails.tv, click on vplayer, pick the show you want to watch, in this case it's the Here's Hour, And then you can pick the episode that you want to watch from every one that we've ever done. They're all there. Under normal circumstances, you'll watch it at 360p, which means everybody can see it. It'll go full screen. You can do whatever you want with it. So there you go. Three ways that you can watch VaporTrails.tv. Subscribe and enjoy. Thanks. Right now, I just uh, like slightly serious uh, point here. I uh, just read something in chat there, and I need to make it very clear that it is not the position of Dave's Tucker Box or a Vapor Trails TV that the manager of the Rattler was indeed <laughs> a, <laughs> a cooking fund. Um, I just want to make that clear. <laughs> Oh. <sighs> Wish you got it right. <laughs> you can't sue me. <clears throat> I denied it. And for the benefit of those watching on catch up, that was one of the more sort of repeatable comments. <laughs> oh, well, look, you know, I mean, you know, I, I seriously thinking of, uh, you know, I mean, if you're looking for somewhere to visit in the northeast one day for a day out, you know, if you go to the Rattler uh, next door, there's a place that's actually quite welcoming and uh, that would be, they seem very happy to see us. So, and I believe uh, they've said, let us know whenever you need us again. Exactly, exactly, and and you know the the uh, the thing is, we may very well go there again on principle. You know, um, uh, it was a perfectly good venue, and, uh, and 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 let's be clear to anybody that wasn't there, because anybody that was there knows this already, including you, Dougie. It didn't ruin the day. Uh, we just had to sort of move to Plan B, didn't we? We did. Um, it was the silver lining, to be honest. It was a better place all round. Well, exactly, and, and you know, spent a lot less on more beer as well, which uh, you know I'm never going to grumble about because the beer was every bit as good. In fact, I think the IPA was a better pint, frankly. And um, yeah, food was good. Really fast service. We're starting to sound like an advert for the Sundial here. 
Can I just uh, reference something that was said in chat by Mr. Safer Six as well? Yes. I have got changed since <laughs> last night. But it does need to go in the washer because it's about to walk off on its own. So it'll be going in after the show tonight. So there you go. Uh, there's no sort of blood down it or anything or sound. No, no I think there's a few beer stains somewhere. Right, eh? Okay. Right, anyway, so yeah, let, let's let's do a show. <laughs> Uh, yes, okay. Uh, okay, highlights of the day. From me? Yep, yeah, I always ask these highlights of the um, day. Meeting the team members for one. Um, you know, obviously I've met yourself before Vape Fest. Meeting everybody else that turned up. Um, that's basically what I went for, to, to meet like-minded people. Um, there was loads of things that happened during the day that were highlights for me. Um, I got... Old get on camera saying a few funny things when he wasn't expecting it. Um, <laughs> is it. Is that for a future episode? It more than likely is. <laughs> I got sav with a good one as well. Um, oh, loads of things. It was loads. The whole day was just brilliant. It was just unfortunate that somebody said, it's last orders, and I thought, you kidding? Yeah, and yeah it, it flew by, it. didn't it, the time? Flew by. Couldn't believe that it. That was the downside so, of the day. It went like that. Well, a few of us sort of went back to the Premier Inn, which is where we were staying. In fact, uh, Dave D dropped us off, mm -hmm. and, uh, but unfortunately the bar was closed there. But um, but yeah, I had a good night's kip and everything as well. A good journey back. It was, you know, apart from uh, I know you said something I shouldn't. Then apart from that guy at the Rattler, the day was perfect. It was. It was a cracking day. Hi highlights for me was uh, going through Gordy's little box of fancy mods. He got some good gear in yeah. there, hasn't he? He does. He does. He had it at Vape Fest with him as well. I think he actually had more at Vape Fest, and it was just shiny, shiny. Yeah. Another one, another one, another one. And it wasn't one of each. He had two of yeah, each. Yeah, ones. yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's very greedy, is Gordy. <laughs> and he knew I was eyeing up. Was it one of the piccolos I was eyeing up? You said he was as well, weren't you? Oh uh, yeah, I was. I never got it though. No. <laughs> I tried, but I didn't get it. Um, yeah, and uh, the, the, you know the, there were a couple of new faces there. I, I knew many of the people and I'd met before. And um, uh, yeah, it was just a brilliant day. Anyway, right, so one thing that we said uh, we might mention is uh, on the way down, okay, uh, I noticed you were using a disposable e-cig. Yes. Uh, yes. Um, on the way down, yeah, I was using um, a Cloud Nine. Yeah. Um, disposable. How'd you so get on? How did you get on with it? Great fest, and I've never got around to training, so I used oh, that right, on the okay. train. How did you get on with it? It was all right. Um, it's twenty-four milligram, but so I was expecting a bit of a kick from it. But yeah, they don't kick it out like the atomizers that we're used to. So yeah, you know, even though it's a stronger juice, it, it will seem a bit milder with a lot of these disposables. They just don't have the oomph. But, uh, but the main thing is it, it it got me through the journey. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to preempt too much, but obviously I ended up with your video SD card, and I, and I, I I was picking out the bits I wanted for my VT, and I saw you using it on the train and stuff. Yeah. And uh, but it kind of it kind of did the job for you. It did. It did. It, cool. it got me got me through on the on the four hour train journey. So yeah, it definitely did. Right. Well, on the way down, I had to stop for petrol because it was a blooming long way. It was almost in Scotland, you know. Scott, I swear I could see Scotland from just outside the Rattler. But um, I stopped at a petrol station and they had like a little display thing. And this is a Gamucci one. And this was the last one. In actual fact, the display thing, it looked like somebody had like gone into it because it was all shredded. And there was this one just sort of lying there next to the box on the, on the where, where you pay on the counter. So I thought, yeah, why not? So this one cost me £6.95. And... Uh, well, I've got to be honest, it looks like many other disposables that I've tried, but I don't know. So I'm going to try it. It says original 1.6% per milliliter nicotine. Disposable electronic cigarette. Smoke virtually anywhere, it says. No flame, no tobacco, no tar, all the usual kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, the, it's the, the model is the Continental 500 from Gamucci. 
and those that have been around vaping for a while will remember the Gamucci brand as one of the original sort of marketers of Lucky Lighties. But this is the first one of their disposables I've seen. So uh, I'm going to try and get into the packet now, which is proving difficult, and give it a go. That didn't really work. Ah, but that did. Okay. So um, first thing I noticed, and I think that the, the Cloud9 one, um, did it have a, a, a name? A model, it might be one I tried some time ago. Uh, I couldn't tell you. I, I do have an old one, but it's in the box. I'd have to rewrite yeah, it. Didn't, I, just, I just ripped it open and I've, screwed it together and started using this, it. This looks very like it. I think it's quite sort of almost oversized. It's quite a big, yeah. goofy thing. Yeah, it's a king size. Yeah. size. What, one thing I did notice on this is that it says up to 500 puffs. <laughs> Right. Yeah, so I severely doubt that. Well, my point being that the Cloud9 one, I think is it's certainly identical size, and I think it may even be the same model. And uh, do Cloud9 claim 500 puffs? No. So no, I, don't, I don't think there was any claims on the packet, to be I, honest. Exactly, because we know that 500 puffs is a ridiculous claim. Mm hmm but uh, I have to uh, apparently remove the little piece of red tape from over the the filter part and I have to remove this red tape I guess that's an air hole yes it is okay so this is 16 milligram let's try it oh did you hear that no <laughs> it gurgles that's pretty bad for a disposable, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. It's gurgling. It might just be old and filled a little bit and it just needs to burn off. Mm. Mm. Green LED. Yeah, it stopped gurgling, but unfortunately it stopped actually producing much vapour at the same time. Hang on. Um, I guess original flavour is tobacco. Um, I'm sorry, but that's not really worth £6.95. I mean, OK, I've been just vaping some slightly stronger juice. Not much stronger, it's only 24 milligram, and I can feel nothing from this. some vapor yeah. now it's getting going it's getting going i'll persevere with this one um i don't think it's uh the best disposable i've tried but i notice uh, that you have a disposable in your hand there yourself i have it's one of the riches that um daz was giving out to people yesterday at the meet you mean you blagged it to back <laughs> <laughs> no he was he was chucking them around to everybody uh, as, yeah. a, as a as a Thanks um, for turning up gift, really, it's I suppose, isn't he? Um, and yeah, I use that all the way on today. Um, it gives a really nice kick, to be honest, and it's not a bad flavour. Um, I've one tried, of the I've tried them before. flavours from a disposable, anyway. Yeah, I've tried Have them before, and I was really impressed with them, you know, because it, mm. it really is the size of a king size fag, isn't it? It's, uh, it's um, you know, if you compare it to the other one you had, it's like, uh, what? It's about. 80% of the height, maybe a bit Although less. the one I had. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And um, it's uh, it's just uh, quite comfortable to hold, isn't it? It's very familiar mm. and reassuring feeling. And they do actually perform. Now, I'm not going to open this one up because I'm going to I'm going to give it to somebody at work. Because um, whenever I get hold of these disposables, that's what I tend to do with them. You know, just sort of uh, let people try them out when people ask. Um, but uh, yeah, no, it, it, it is quite a good uh, little performer, isn't it? It is. Um, it impressed me a hell of a lot, to be honest. Um, and, and again, the four-hour journey on, on the way there, I used the Cloud9, and on the way back, I used the Ritchie. They both got me by. Um, Flavour-wise and performance-wise, the Ritchie outwins the, the Cloud9 for me. Um, 
although they're both good in their own right, but I enjoyed the Richie today on my own. Okay, well, that brings us pretty close to the end, Doug. In fact, I'm going to kick you out without much ceremony at all. So, say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> and uh, I'm just going to uh, kick Dougie off the air there like that, where I expect that Cat is saying, get off the air. Yes, something similar anyway. Uh, guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, I'll, there'll be no Dave's Tackle Box next week because it's my son's 18th birthday and we're going to see Tenacious D of all people uh, so I'll be back in two weeks uh, thanks for watching